Hi, my name is Ken Stone, and I'm really excited to be with you here to answer the question, how do I surrender? On the website, howdoisurrender.com. I'm gonna do this with four separate videos. And these videos collectively are designed to address this question and also facilitate an experience of surrender for you. So to begin our conversation, I wanna open up with a simple metaphor that points to the complexity of this spiritual journey that we're all on individually and collectively all around the world. I want you to think of your spiritual journey as a three-part archaeological expedition. And each of these three parts is critical. Mastery of each of these is critical. And then, like so many other things in our life, there is this truth. We get to experience and explore this at a deeper and deeper level. This is not a linear expedition. This is something we learn and then we relearn and we explore in greater depth as we go through our lives. So since the journey is there to be experienced over the course of your life, why not take advantage of this opportunity to explore it at a deeper level now and develop mastery now? With that, I wanna talk about the three things that I wanna cover through this video series. The first is I'd like to talk about these three steps on the expedition. And in particular, in the next video, I wanna expand and talk more about the question of surrender and the three steps that are involved in surrender. The second thing I'd like to do is share with you a guided experience of surrender so that you can begin to build or enhance your existing foundation of surrender that you already have in your life. The third thing I'd like to do is invite you to join a spiritual community that I have created and that I support, that supports people all around the world on their spiritual journey. And I wanna be very clean with my energy. I'm very interested in answering this question completely and sharing with you an experience of surrender. And then if my work is resonating in the way I'm talking and connecting with you is resonating with you, then I'd love for you to join the community. But if it doesn't, it's no big deal. No harm, no foul. I hope that this video series helps you on your spiritual journey, whether you choose to move forward with me or not. Okay, so let's talk about these three steps. Clearly the first step is surrender, right? And the metaphor there is to throw out the map. We all get so caught in this idea that we know where we're headed and how to get there. And I promise you there is one or two things, challenges in your life upon which you get to surrender, around which you get to surrender. And these questions, this question, well, it's personal. It's what you know is going on in your life. It may seem confusing. It may look like a bunch of different things. I could tell you in my own life, I thought, oh my gosh, there's this and this and this. You know what it came down to? It came down to self-love. And on self-love and loving myself unconditionally, I threw out the map. And I'm gonna invite you to do the same thing. And I'm gonna to talk to you in the next video about the three steps that are involved around throwing out the map. The second stage in this process is to excavate your soul. If you think about this as an expedition, we're gonna dig down, we're gonna go within and unearth this incredible treasure within you. That's the second stage. The third one is to keep digging. This is the spiritual practice component of this. We get to do this over and over again. And as I said before, it's not linear. So with that, I'm really, really excited to join you on the next video and explore further this question of throwing out the map. There's a link just below. If you click on that link, you'll be moved immediately to the next video. And I'll look forward to joining you there where we're gonna explore more about throwing out the map. I'm so grateful we're connected in this way. Peace.